Hey guys, here's a cover tutorial for this cover right here. I really hope you like it. It's really simple, it shouldn't be too hard to follow. And if you like it, let me know. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is just blurring the background a bit. Cause I like to have a little blurriness. And then I'm gonna choose an ambiance kind of setting. We're gonna use an airbrush to darken it. And then use another layer and on add on blending mode and just lightening up the middle a little bit so it gives a little bit of something something okay so for our png we have jessica alba and so i'm gonna choose a face claim for her because i'm not really using her face even though she's beautiful so we're gonna use this one here and you can see you're gonna see i'm gonna struggle a little bit while using this face claim and for this png just because it wasn't the right angle and it wasn't the right coloring and it just wasn't working out so you can see and watch how i struggle a little bit hopefully you can sh i can tell you like even i struggle in working a manif like it's really hard you won't get it your first time it's really a lot of trial and errors so as you can watch that you see that So you watch me struggle a little bit so you're gonna see i'm trying to choose a diff same model but different angle and this one works so much better so we're just cutting it out we're changing the angles we're trying to make it work and honestly this was one was so much better as you saw in the beginning the final product this was 100 percent better so we're just trying to find the perfect angles you always use perspective form if you're using this app just because it's, it's easier to work with so we're changing the lighting just to match the skin tone a little bit that's really important as well you don't want to have a darker face and a lighter body even though i do do that sometimes just because i'm too lazy to fix it but that's what we're doing so we're just gonna raise a little bit of our hair we're gonna smudge around the neck and <laughs> So right here we're gonna start doing some hair i like to start by doing short hair and using this brush i'm gonna link the brushes or try to because i don't know if i have the link still safe so i like when i do hair i like to start off by doing shorts especially if you're a beginner and you're just your first time doing hair drawing hair i suggest you start by short instead of doing long just because it's harder to work with okay so right now we're doing some dark colors some light colors and we're just drawing the hair and i like to go all over the place with hair just because it's it's nicer that way like you don't want to have straight pin straight hair i mean if your character does have pin straight hair go ahead but mine doesn't so we're just adding some highlights to it just to make it more real that's what we're doing <laughs> So we're gonna comp 
pine those layers and now we're gonna add our second PNG and I chose Dua Lipa but we're not gonna use her face we're gonna use someone else so we're doing that I wasn't sure in the beginning which body to use I suggest I guess but you know like I said it's trial and error you do what you think will fit so we're doing <laughs> using that Dua Lipa PNG so we're just gonna change the first PNG to match the coloring of the second one and that's really important you don't want to have two different color PNGs it has to be consistent so you just play around with colors trying to match it a little bit it's really trial and error and now we're gonna do the face claim for Dua Lipa so we're gonna choose this one and like I said the angles are really important this one works really perfect so we're gonna raise her body and do all that jazz. So again, while you do all this, we're going to change the coloring again to match the body. And like I said, it's so important that you do that. You don't want to have a light face and a dark body or vice versa. So we're going to be smudging the neck here. And honestly, smudging is really hard in the beginning. Like, I, it's really hard to do. Like, honestly, it takes a lot of work. But as you see, I'm not perfect either. She looks like she has a giraffe neck. So we're just going to fix that by drawing hair. Exactly like we did to the first model, we're going to draw hair to cover up our mistakes. Okay, so what I'm doing here is drawing dark hair, but what I suggest is never just leave it a dark hair. So you can see I'm going to transition to a lighter color, just because when you choose your final filter at the end or PSD, it will show better. And with dark hair, sometimes it just blends into like well, and you won't see our hair. So we're doing that. So now, and so now I'm just going to make a little bit of a shadow where the hoodie meets her hair, just to make it more realistic. So this is my favorite part in any cover is the highlights so we're gonna do a clipping mask and add over the pngs which were combined in the late same layer so we're just gonna do light 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 highlights because light is showing from the back so you just want to do a little bit usually i like to make so much highlight it's one of my favorite things but lately i've been trying to like calm down a little bit but honestly my, my style is so much highlight so that's what we're just gonna do. We're just gonna go lightly around the bodies and the hair just to make it a little bit more nice. So then we're on the same layer. We're just gonna do face highlights, which I'm also gonna link, try to link those brushes as well. Next we're going to do the eyes. I like to use their natural eye color unless specifically I want like a unnatural color. So we're just going to do highlight that. And it's really easy, you know, like it's not difficult at all. So now, so now we're going to do the contouring. If you're really familiar with makeup, I feel like this will be really easy for you. If you're not, just follow the natural shape of their faces. 
just so it could be more prominent i really love doing that it's really nice in the final cover so we're not gonna leave it dark like this we're gonna go in blending mode and we're gonna choose overlay sometimes i used to like to use darker color just depending this is gonna be a light cover so we're gonna use overlay so next we're gonna i like to add a little bit of a texture so we have this brush and it adds texture towards it it's just like a fun little detail that i love and it's really one of my signature things so now we're just going to do some spots of light. I don't usually do this in my covers, but I thought it would just be fun to do for once. And so just in another layer, use your brush and use on blending mode and add. So now we're going to do hair. This is also one of my signature things. I love adding little flyaways in the hairs. It just adds something special to a cover, I think. Like you just do a lot of bunch of little hairs and I just, I love to go overboard. Like you just do whatever you want, you know. I love it so much. It's so fun to do. Finally, you're done every process here. Like I said, it's an easy cover. So now we're gonna go in this app and it really shows you the difference between before and after and making an HD. And that's one of the most important things, I think. So now we're gonna add our font. At first, I didn't know what I wanted to name this. So I just came up with something random. Don't judge me. So we're gonna add the cover at the top. Usually I like to add it where the bodies are, but this time I thought it would be nicer just to have it at the top so we're just gonna do all that And one thing I suggest is always add your watermark because a lot of people like to steal, you know, covers and it's not really nice to do. So always add your watermark in your covers. So next we're going to add our filter. Sometimes I use PSDs, but most of the time I use um, these little filters here. I never claim that it's my own unless it's really one that I made myself. So as you can see, all the credits are here. So I just choose the one I like that fits the vibe of the story and I save and that's it that's that's the end of the tutorial i really hope you like it let me know if you want to see more and thank you so